if you do get to watch this back, you see me go down like a B Trooper rabbit hole of like, but how does that fucking Link monster get the counter to summon the insects? <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Beside me is my fellow team member, Bragg. Hello. And to my left, or your left, is Ben from Nolan TCG. How's it going? Uh, Let's start with our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm going to go first. So I finally put together a different deck. Kind of. (laughs) You didn't normal summon Alistar. No, I normal summoned a cap shell because I was playing mech knights. <laughs> <laughs> that deck is so fucking fun. I cannot explain to you how fun that deck is to play. Um, but it's been doing reasonably well. Like, full disclosure, it loses hard to Salt Soul. Because um, most of their stuff activates in hand or in graveyard. So the effects that mech knights can actually disrupt... Uh, Nowhere to be seen for them. Um, However, most other decks it can dunk on. Like, real hard. And it's real funny. It also, like, Protoss Call Light. Yeah, that's the thing. (laughs) Protoss Call Light, um, I think it's Xiaofeng or something like that. The one that's like, you cannot activate the effect of light monsters. Um, Like, there is so much of that. And even if, for whatever reason, the... um, World Legacy Secrets was giving them problems with Mech Knight Shifty Boy. Uh, the shooter bounce it. Yeah. There's a lot of problems for Sword Soul, um, for Mech Knights rather. No problem for Sword Soul. Um, but for most other decks, it is more than fine. Um, there will be a replay going up on Ben's channel which will exhibit just how well it can do, um, which was real fun. It was real fun for me. Is it like a, a pivot like to the deck, not so much? Is it better or worse than the Invoke version? Um, it feels better. It feels nicer. Mm, you're under something. Mech Knight's always a deck that I've liked for a little while in terms of like a nice deviation from whatever else I'm playing. Just because it is a different mechanic and people are taken aback by it for the most part. Like it doesn't take long to then play around it. But then it can pivot to a strategy by where you playing around it kind of screws you over, mm. which is real fun. And that would have come up on Sunday. I was versing a guy playing like a heavy trap deck, and I would have won with one of those strategies because the link three, if there's nothing in his column, it can attack directly. And I would have beat him with that, but he scooped. <laughs> I didn't even get to put it on the board. I was ah, a big sad. Sad times. Attackers. They're so good. Mind yeah. you, I cut Nightmare Shark. So. Yeah, look, it's okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. Ben, how was your week? Well, I guess this is a question for both me and Bragg. Yes. Because uh, we went away to a regional. Uh, that's the reason why Jake had his discussion first, is so that we can have a more in-depth discussion about going to proper events that Jake could not attend because... I work Saturdays. Yes, he works Saturdays. Wait, wait, what day was the regionals? Saturday. A Saturday. Yeah. I'll yeah, put yeah, two yeah. and two together now, yes. 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 So uh, we went up on the Friday night to Orange, which is, what, four hours west of where we currently are. Uh, bit of a drive. Very uh, There was a, a moment there on the drive there I was like, we could die. When it was like... Oh, on the way Absolutely yeah. pissing yeah. down to the point where I couldn't see the front of the car. Wait, when you're driving back or when you're driving Driving, driving there. there. Oh, driving there. Yeah, yeah. so oh, we, wow. yeah, we As already... If, like, the rain that you guys got here that next day hit us, like, three quarters of the way to Orange. Damn. Uh, we were, like, in the middle of nowhere as well, and I was like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that is really terrifying. Like, it's one thing driving in heavy rain when you kind of know where you are, when you are effectively in nowhere. I was yeah. just and... laser-focused on the road, just like... And even then, there's, <laughs> like, just on... The, on that surface for some reason there's just like enough water pooled yeah there's and a couple so of planes everywhere I, yeah, well, I could swear we didn't have traction the land is just yeah, oh, cool, the land is just flat so there's nowhere for the water to like yeah. dissipate elsewhere yeah. like here you've got like heaps of hills and stuff so you just avoid the lane that's on the lowest part but there everywhere's the lowest yeah. part I was figuring <laughs> it out by like if I saw a spray go off in the distance that was clearly a car going through it and I was like okay, yeah there it is time gonna... to repair yeah there was there was like one part where I'm like oh 
should I be nervous about this? Because I'm pretty, I'm a pretty confident passenger in my driving times. <laughs> Look, pretty confident. Well, I've, I've been in some pretty weird uh, places as a passenger. That was up there. I am a good driver. I got oh, no, us, yeah, I got I'm, us there. Yeah. I got us there. I don't uh, know if this is an issue for you and your car, but I know it's an issue in mine, or it is with the new car. My windscreen wipers, when it's pissing down, are nowhere near f- as fast as I want them to be. Mine go real fucking fast. Mine used to. In my very first car, my Nissan Pulsar, they were furious. They worked hard. This one is just like very German about it. It's like, this is the appropriate... <laughs> this, is, this is exactly how much you need. Uh, yeah, I, I, I understand <laughs> this completely. Yeah. Mine, <laughs> mine has a max setting that you can then increase. What? I had them at max, and I, I think it was Lewis wipers. was like, "These are really fast," and I was like, "I can make them go faster." To eleven, <laughs> I can turn them to eleven. To eleven. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, was at the point where you're like, "Have you seen Paddington Two? <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, Paddington Two. He's just asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Responds with snoring. I've also just hit the table like five times during that discussion, so sorry about popping the mic. That's okay. Look, if there's any point of the podcast where it's appropriate for banging tables, it's now. Um, so anyway, the trip was yeah, uh, yeah there we go. Was there. We got there. So got there. Pretty chill night. Place we stayed at. Super cheap. Super good for the money we paid. Yeah, and also a super better accommodation than YCS, where just everything closes early, right next to the pub. I oh. yeah. We just and the Seven Eleven. We just stayed it's, at the pub. With yeah, the 7-11. this yeah. like I kind of wish they like attempted a weird two day event or just go like I, I wish this was bigger, which we'll get to in a second. Yeah. But like if this was a YCS experience, give Orange YCS. Give Orange do YCS. It. Do it. You, it's so much Have better. Everyone go out to the middle of nowhere. We'll double the town's population just yeah. on the people going there. They've got pubs. <laughs> So this is, this is the thing that I'm now realising why Sydney YCS is probably the worst place to have YCS. The fact that they have it in Wins- um, or wherever, whatever stadium it is, ANZ, Allianz. It's not ANZ anymore. Is it, it's yeah. Name Redacted Stadium. Name Redacted? Okay. Yeah. Are, are we not, can we not get sponsored by them? I have like no idea who the sponsor is, so that's it. Right. So silly. the thing that triggers me most about that is cool. it's great during the day. You're in the Millennium Room and it's like, oh, there's all these places open you can go to. You can't go to them because you're in a fucking YCS you can't go to them and then by the time you can go to them they're fucking closed yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, and open oh. a noodle box <laughs> oh that no that noodle place there is that really is good that is the best noodle place in New South Wales yeah because all the noodle boxes are out yeah pretty much everything's Fuck. closed mm. um, anyway that's a yeah. whole different conversation the hotel was great good value for money yeah uh, the Ophir if you're ever going to Orange Regional we stayed at the Ophir um, you have to pack your own card table, though. Where yeah, pack you... a table, because we didn't bring a table, but the beds were on wheels, so... Wait, there wasn't a table in the room? There was or no just, like, table in the middle desk. of the room. They were on the walls, yeah. attached to the walls. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so we pulled out a mattress, uh, pulled out a bed, and then took the chairs from one room to the other room to test the night before. I see. Yeah. Yeah, so bring a foldable table. Which you probably should do to any hotel room for it's year. kind of assumed that there's at least a dining table in most hotel rooms though right yeah oh well this is a it's not a motel it's a straight up hotel attached to a pub so it's not like right so it's more like overnight accommodation than yeah like, yeah pretty yeah. much okay yeah this room is still big though i could have spent at yeah. least eight years in there it's valid that's an interesting way to it say had a it. sink and a fridge covered yeah, eight years. Tick. Yeah, yeah. like you could leave, you could leave in like a studio apartment for that long before you go completely insane. They had three beds. Three in beds. one room. That's how big the room was. We miss you, Tom. And they can't fit a fucking table. Anyway, okay, that boggles uh, the mind. But anyway, so on to the event. That's the night. We get to the event next morning. Uh, sadly, turnout wasn't the best. Yeah. Uh, it looked it looked about half of what they were expecting. Yeah. I believe about 30 people at pre-regged couldn't attend. Yeah. At least. So, mm. it was, it, the venue was great. Like, they had plenty of room. They had spaced it out so that it was 100 players, and every single table was the size of this table. And yeah, you, it was nice. one match to a table. Okay. Yeah. So, so, you had the whole table to one match. So, COVID spacing was great. They had prepared everything excellently. 
it was just a simple case of like not enough people could get out there yeah. Which is um, going to be the issue around this sort of thing anyway. Like, you're going to have people cancel due to whatever. Yeah. So, like, the fact that they still prepared for a big event was great, I guess. Biggest biggest credit to Games and More Orange. I don't know if this is a regional thing or whether or not it's like, was their thing. Despite the fact they had, like, that many people cancel, they didn't reduce price support. They, in fact, turned around and were like, we're going to host the second event immediately after this event with the same price support. That's kind of awesome. So, yeah. yeah. They, very, very good. I really liked it. Two huge screens with time. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two giant projectors in each corner of the room with time on and it. And you knew when time was called as well, though. It was like was red loud. alert. <laughs> time in the round was like a red alert sound. So it wasn't one tiny clock at one end of the thing where all, like, the table 500 people were? No, no, no. no. Two giant projectors. Which, also which pairings, both of you could see, yeah. Pairings with pairings all the, the giant projectors. projectors. Yeah. It, it, was, was, it was great. So good. They did such a good job. And and I, I heard like when they had a bigger event years ago that they had flipped up the service thing and that's where they had um, drinks. Food. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that so was, for, yeah, I remember that from the last time. They were like offering that like if you paid an extra $10 with your rego, they'd give you like a burger and a drink with, with your thing. Yeah, I imagine if this was in better times like we because yeah you could see where the the yeah. restaurant thing would have opened up and yeah there was clearly like a bar and a shrinery right next to thing but that then brings us to the gameplay itself uh i topped i Woo! came uh i came second so second yes, overall that's fine what oh oh yeah no, no, he's luke's not asleep he sleeps super hard actually he probably isn't no, last, last night he kept me up playing Digimon yeah, Online he's with someone. Testing Digimon again. <laughs> he's testing Digimon, I just kept hearing him yell, and I was like, I'm back awake now. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah. King second. Uh, played Sword Soul. Uh, yeah. Overall, I sat down from my fourth round opponent and was like, oh man, I guess I'm going good considering like I don't want to be playing this deck. I was told to play this deck. He's like, I'm going to win this. He normal summons Alistair, and I'm like, I fucking won! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I have enough training from playing against you that I know the ins and outs of Invoked. I knew every play he was going to make before he made it. I was like, this is your most optimal play. I will stop you right now. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. It was Jake's, Jake was the reason why I topped. And uh, not the reason, not the fact that in game three I opened uh, Triple Desires and then topped like, like a god on every opportunity. I opened Triple Desires talents uh the search spell and i was like okay activate desires get ashed activate talents draw two draw into moye and long one uh moye reveal the long one so, like moye revealing the long one uh sync drawing dimensional barrier <laughs> <laughs> so i end on like fucking the full board with protoss and d barrier set and then like i'm <laughs> I call Dark, and you see in the look in his eyes, like, I'm gonna summon my Macabre. He's like, normal summon Alistair. And I I'm don't like, like the way you characterize <laughs> these players. I'm like, <laughs> he's going for the Macabre play here. He links off, goes into Armourage, links off into Secure Gardener, activates Invocation. I'm like, call Fusion. <laughs> he just looks at me like, oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> um, just as a little. Uh, actually um <laughs> the better play is to actually wait like not wait until they activate the invocation because that turns their engine back on like granted yeah. sword soul will fucking demolish it like you basically yeah. would have had damage on board at that point but then their invocation stuck in hand i thought he was gonna present purgatrio and i was like i'm just gonna flip the barrier anyway but yeah because i was like purgatrio i could be in trouble here we'll get relatively close to time i guess so I was like, maybe he pokes for Purgatrio and then tries to like, fuck around for a bit. And I was like, no, D-Barrier, shut the shit down. It would have been real funny too if you'd let him summon Purgatrio, go to the battle phase, and then flip the D-Baz so then its effect wasn't live. Yeah. And it just crashes into something. Yeah, that would have been pretty <laughs> cute. Uh, but yeah, that was my event. Uh, I lost to Poe in the final. Um, can't Sky complain. Striker. Sky Striker. I lost of my own volition. It's something I can accept. Like, I didn't make that many mistakes all day and I just made them in the the moment when it happened the most so yeah look I choked but it's fine 
I was happy to be there. I was yeah. super. I sat down in that last round. and I was like, I'm fucking so happy to be in this position where even if I lose, I'm probably second place. So, yeah, good attitude to have. The box door wasn't good. I oh my openings were dog shit. Yeah, I got half a boost. So you box. sort of ended up with those plus extra dog shit. It's just the yeah. way the world works. Unless I took post off because post off was good. Because Poe got two ultis. Yeah, Poe got two ultis from his like. Bro, I think he got like either sixteen or twenty OTS. I got, got half a booster box and 12 OTS with the deck box and the playmat. The deck, the deck box is good. Yeah, deck box is good. That playmat's real good. That fun yeah. playmat. Yeah. yeah, rub it in a bit more. Such a nice playmat. Brad <laughs> really wanted it. <laughs> at the start of the day, we sat down and were like, how much is this if we have to offer people money at the end of the day? Yeah. And, uh, and it was too much. <laughs> yeah, it was like, uh, currently on eBay, it's like 250 bucks. So we were like, oh my god. Yeah. 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 Well, to be fair, we're still early into the season. Uh, however, they just announced a new playmat. Yeah. And yeah, last so year, so uh, it's something really nice too. What is it again? Uh, that new Dark Magician ritual. Yeah. It, yeah like I don't do give a shit about the actual the ritual card, yeah. but, but the artwork is the artwork so is nice. nice on a mat. Uh, yeah. That was my event. How was yours, bro? I was really good, and I went terribly. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Like again, good attitude to have. But yeah, it was. I'll start with the negatives of yeah. I hundred percent underestimated birds. Uh, we were lost. Tribal brigade birds, not the good birds. Yeah, I got dunked on them by tonight too. It's just yeah. I didn't pay enough respect to them, and I'm not sure if I said this on the deck profile last week or just to sixty people. Where if you would ask me, is that deck good? I go yeah. And they go, okay, so what do you what have you put in your deck to counter this? I'd be like, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I completely acknowledged it was good, but for just for some reason I just didn't think it was gonna turn up. I didn't think enough people cared about it. But I guess people care about winning. So they turned up and since and that's thing, since I do pay them a bit iffy, I didn't know most some of their attach effects. Like or being attached as a material, so cobalt. Yeah, the, as the, I now no know. Target. Yeah, so I tried imperming something Cobalt was attached to, and right and right away he's got a can't be targeted. I'm like, yeah, I gotta play the good sport, Judge. <laughs> Wait, warning me. <laughs> I have I've done an illegal activation. Oh, one of my matches I play against. Uh, you played him later on. It was a guy playing Maju. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Maju slash border stun, so he smoke screens into the border stun and he goes first. Oh, I um, don't know who this is, but I hate them. Yeah, uh, I went like not full board, but like I went Chi Zhao uh, Fleur, uh, Fleur with the set trap, and he activates Super Poly. And I'm like, there's no legal target in the game for this. Judge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that no, was that because he yeah. discarded the uh, he discarded Thunderbird as well. So I was like, yeah, you... he's trying to get a Thunderbird pop in my back row here. <laughs> yeah, um, and that's the thing. So it was completely fair to go, hey, and like I just did this. He goes, why'd you do it? I'm like, because I'd be dumb. <laughs> like, trust me, I know cheat. I'd be dumb. <laughs> so. We moved on with that match. It was the loss. And then... I don't even remember what the second one was. Maybe it was an Eldritch loss. Possibly. But yeah, so then I came into the Grand Marju match. Which... Yeah, but I've versed two Loza decks in a row. Grand Marju, then Dark Magician. <laughs> and yeah, since... I know how the Grand Marju stuff works. So I'm like, oh, this is easy. And then the Dark Magician stuff. I'm like, I've watched enough Loza videos. Where I know what you're meant to be doing. This isn't it, but... You're trying real hard. <laughs> I did well, like, um, and yeah, so it was pretty much, I make DPA game one, I win, he makes Dragoon game two, he wins, I make DPA game three. I win. Black. See, he wouldn't have had these problems if he'd just played the Loza list. Yeah. Maybe. Probably. Then the, the last match was weird as well, but, um, yeah, picked up a bunch of, like, just gain confident and experience in the process again, because just... I'll complain about this before. Not not stressful, but there's probably an anxiety element and stuff in there. What are you going to do? So I'm just getting back into the swing of things while also not facing anyone completely shit. That was good. So, it was good. Yeah. I don't think I pulled anything good either. 
Well, I got and I got plenty of prize. Like, yeah, heaps of prizes. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, I remember having an amount of OTS where I'm like, oh, I'm pretty sure this is like double OTS as the last two years I've received at locals. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> like they were just handing out OTS like it was nothing. Yeah. They're like, here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. I was like, so... do I am I getting enough OTS for my prizes? Because I was like, I'll wait to the end. It's like me and Fox waited till the very end, and I was like, do you want to go before me? <laughs> He's like, okay, open dog shit. And I was like, I'm going to open good. I also open dog shit. I was like, I opened everything good. <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> Sucks to suck, I guess. But no, in all seriousness, um, yeah, no, did well. Did well, Ben. Yeah, at the end, we got home. And when we got, we got to the top of the elevator and Bragg was like, this is the first event where I've not gotten home and not been like, I fucking hated that. Yeah, yeah. it was refreshing coming back to that. Yeah. Where... Because oh. even on events that... Like walking, even like I had fun with the Dark Rebellion one, but just I didn't feel good about that weekend. But I've had a good time since it was, yes, so. Yeah. Melbourne. Oh, Melbourne. Melbourne. My deck was dog shit, but my god, being in Melbourne was so good. I once again paired the YCS win around one. <laughs> it always happens to me. Just know you got to come into your first match ready to go because you're going to verse the winner um speaking of winners uh we have the breakdown of the top 32 ycs from pasadena oh yeah the remote one yeah <laughs> remote one um where they got to play online which is always fun for everybody and I, yeah from yeah. watching that online i saw that that was an in-person event sorry i saw people in person it's an in-person event at ycs pasadena and Bowden temnik is definitely an american <laughs> oh oh yes Yes, Bowden Temnik, the um, top Australian player, is actually American. Oh, 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 you can't say those words. He's American. American. <laughs> um, but anyway, top 30 to breakdown. Uh, we have, weirdly enough, one 10 year soul soul. Just one. He's a fucking idiot. What? Ladies and gentlemen, the graphics oh. on the screen right now, it says 11. It's 11. Yeah, I can't read. One. Um, and then another one. There were two. Aha, <laughs> uh-huh, two. Aha. Uh-huh. No, 11. Sorry. I don't know why. My mind completely blanked that out until you gave that eyebrow raise to me. And then my eyes like, oh, there's another one. Did you think it was like first place? Why is that maybe? No, I thought it was. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. To be fair, this is a pretty fucky list where it has like. I could have the numbers are all over the place. The graphic so. will be like just here. It says 11, 4, 7. <laughs> yeah, it's not in order, which is super weird. And it is on the graph. Like, it does it in a normal graph order that you go from highest to lowest, which is stupid. But anyway, 11, 10 E Sword Soul. 4, Sky Striker DPE, which I still think is a shit deck. Um, 7, Lyrilus Tribrigade. Uh, 2, Zoo Tribrigade DPE. Those people are just clinging on to Zeus for dear life. Uh, 3 Invoke Dogmatica 2 B Trooper 1 Drytron 1 Eldritch and 1 Virtual World It's trying to fuck me up again It's putting all the ones oh, yeah, next yeah. to each other I thought it was a Drytron Eldritch list and I was like fucking what? Drytron <laughs> Eldritch um, Yeah which is interesting like not surprising but interesting I don't know why people are still trying to play Zoo There are better beast type engines to be running I quite enjoyed watching the B Trooper matches yeah what was it about that list that just made it so good because everyone was raving on about this uh, B Trooper list and so all B Trooper lists now have like abandoned being B Troopers and they're like what if we just did help combo and made DPU and shit <laughs> right so they just use the like they use the um, B's to get started yeah they, they, they still fundamentally have the B Trooper engine for when they need the B Trooper engine to like push big damage but oh, they'll just go for like, uh, Aurorodon I don't know if it's Aurorodon or shit but they go like DPE fucking oh yeah so it wouldn't be Aurorodon yeah they go like DPE uh, I don't know I just keep seeing DPE on their inboards and it seems to be enough yeah it's interesting though that they've said B Trooper but not DPE and every other list that mains a DPE has it yeah Maybe they just didn't want to have to separate it. Maybe one was with and one was without. Sure. Wouldn't surprise me. They didn't decide to order this list, so it wouldn't surprise me if they were lazy enough to just go, eh, whack them together. Realistically, at the moment, like, that deck's worst matchup is Sky Striker. 
and we're in a relatively heavy like monster effect format so mm. like B Troop is a good shout in a heavy monster effect format in a format where Striker just negates you you're fucked which is the mm-hmm. reason why I don't play it at Locals yes because we have a lot of Eldritch players and we have a lot of Sky Eldritch Striker is players. the same as Sky Striker just a turn later yep <laughs> yep um and then we've got the top four. Well, I have the top four. I believe I've lost that. Wait, no, you had, did you have the top I four? I just knew what the, came first. The top second. four was B Trooper, uh, two Birdie decks, yeah, and, and Sword Soul. a Sword Soul. Yeah. And then the Sword Soul and the Birdie deck one. And then the Birdie deck one again. Birds. This is good, though. See, because... bir- birds are Flanderies. The Birdie deck is the little Lord of Yes. We could just call Flunder Flunder. Birds and Birdies. I can't believe that Flunder player lied about topping. Um, <laughs> yeah, Sword Soul seems to just have a good conversion rate, I guess, and just carries through. It, like, yeah, that and one <laughs> made it all the way through. <laughs> well, look, 11 out of 32 is not a bad top card. Like, it's not Sky Striker type thing, but we're also in a format where a lot of engines just sort of end up doing the same sort of thing for so, the most part. Oh, that I didn't get to do my rant. Okay, I have my rant. Oh, sorry, yes. This, this then segues perfectly into my rant. So, we're in a relatively healthy format, would you say? Like, it's a diverse yeah. format, you can play a lot of shit? Yeah. Kind Ish. of. Every single deck says no fuck you. Every yeah. single deck in the format that is good has a turn skip feature to it. Yeah. Yet we're all sitting here like, this is a healthy and diverse format. I think... We all have D-Barrier. Yeah. Like... I think part of it as well is the fact that we all have that engine. Yeah. So we... And it's like that closed-minded thing, like, kind of like what Virtual World were thinking when they could run VFD and they were winching those bands. They're like, it's a healthy card for format. No, it isn't. Yeah. You're only seeing it from your point of view because you can still do things. Yes. Your opponent on the other side cannot do anything. Like, well, we, we're playing in a format of effectively... Liralosk, which yep. is... 30 deck says no to literally everything. Says, yeah, no to a lot of things. You play Droplets, guess what? That also says no. Um, you're playing against Sword Soul, which is like, I have a big worm that skips everything you're going to do. Uh, then we have, what, other birdie deck, uh, which just flips Harpy's Featherstorm and is like, nope, that's your turn done. Uh, you have, like... The DPE decks that play the Scythe package that are like, nah, we've skipped your turn. I'm actually fairly sure that's what Ble- B Trooper can do as well. I think that plays Scythe combo. Oh, that logically would be something that deck does. If it doesn't, why not? Um, yeah. Even you got like Striker, which is like, now there's a there can be only one on the field. Uh, we're in a format where decks are typically decks are mono, sticking to tight. So, yep. your turn's been skipped. Yeah, uh, and Invoked have had Winder as part of the yep. Dogmaker package for You've a while. In that, that inv- those Invoked DPE decks, yeah, they're all summoning Winder. That's another turn skip. Every deck just ha- is whoever can generate their turn skip. At, yep, we're all sitting around like, this is a healthy format. Well, could, well, you need the turn skip to stop the degenerate combo of the opponent. Yes, so which would then the... skip your turn. Yeah. I, I, like, a turn skip would be bad in a slower format. Yeah, but instead we're in a format of every deck's just turn skip kill you. If that's the case, if every deck's playing a mechanic where it just goes, oh, you aren't able to play this turn, do you not just play that to your advantage? Go second, main a whole bunch of break board cards that, like, realistically the meta's not responding to. Like, as you said, um, a lot of the boards are monster heavy boards so it is a lot of monster negates like if you look at try um not yeah sorry yeah try lulus the only non-monster negate that it has on its board typically is apex avian so if you can negate that or kaiju over it even evenly matched dark ruler whatever you need to do and then just break the board from there like i feel like that would almost be a better way to play like, if, if you know that your opponent's just going to go, I play this card, if you're trying to play a monster, you don't get to play this turn. Just play to type. That brings us full circle. Because that was my list for the weekend. 
I played a go first, go second board break deck. That I was just playing break your board, summon Protoss, call. Cool. Yeah, and like that would almost be the way that I, if I would play it, that would be how I play Sword Soul. Yeah. I, like, just play... I wouldn't even use the Ecclesia to summon a Sword Soul. I'd summon an Albaz to then bait in the gate. Yeah. I was just, yeah, played my whole weekend as summon, try and play as much board as possible. Talents put in so much fucking work. I, I played no hand traps in my main deck. I played well, one hand if, trap myself. If side you're playing deck, a board break it. deck, you shouldn't. Like, yeah. it, like realistically, you don't care what they set up. You're playing a deck that should be able to break it. Like, I considered Droll at, like, many points and was just like, no. I'll just play Droplet, uh, Chalice, Talents, and then a bunch of Tangies. I can't believe there's just... a point where people didn't like Talents. Talents, Talents is so much a... for me on the weekend. Fucking fantastic so card. Much. Because Sword Soul, like, after one hand trap, if you have a good enough hand, you're still making full board, no questions asked. Absolutely. Uh, I was just, talents, what are you playing? Oh, that's what you're playing? Okay. Now I know what to call with my Protoss. Yeah, and that's the that's one of the more, more annoying things about Protoss, is, like, if you have that knowledge of what your opponent's playing, like, you can literally summon almost any type of monster you want in that deck that yep. you know your opponent's playing. Yep. Blow it up, and you're like, well, you can set a card, I guess. <laughs> like, you do have access to every type in that deck. Yeah. Everything. Earth? Yeah, tennis. Yeah. You have access yeah, to monk. every type. And sometimes Monk is just chilling on the board anyway. He's just hanging just out there. Blow him up. <laughs> bye bye, Monk. <laughs> Poor monk, it does just cop a lot of random. She's like, hey, yeah, time to die. That was gonna. Attack, attack, attack. There was like one Madolche player floating around the room, and going into the second last oh, round, oh, that poor boy. It was like <laughs> me, me and Poe had won our games, and he was still playing. And if he won, I was like, Protoss, Call Earth, Protoss, Call Earth, Protoss, Call Earth, and then he lost, and I was like, I play Striker now. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so that's that rant over, yeah, I guess. That was my rant. Um, yeah. Uh, so we Com move on comment to... Comment below what you, what, what are your opinions of what I've just brought up. Yeah, if you, if you feel that it's a healthy format or otherwise, feel free to jump into the Discord and let us know. The link's in the description. Um, so the next thing we'll talk about is the, uh, the highly awaited set of the grand creators, uh, for the really meta-breaking cards, Punk. No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute joke. <laughs> Both what I said and the punk archetype. It does nothing. Has one of the coolest looking synchros I've ever seen. Does it However, do anything during the battle phase? No. Oh, yeah, it's not. It definitely doesn't bounce out for other punks if that's what you were hoping for. A man can dream. This When we did our very brief um, episodes of what the deck doing... That's what I said the deck needs to do. Because its best card is like bounce cards up to the number of punks you control. But it's like, there's no off-turn way to get Summon to it. Summon of punk, okay. It's, yeah. yeah, it makes no sense. Needs a soul charge. But anyway, um, so there's a fair decent amount of reprints. Like, I think Etel is getting a reprint in that one. Yeah. Um, Strike, Torrential, a bunch of stuff that people haven't seen. Insectar, because they're getting their support oh. card in there as well. Um, like, there's a bunch of decent reprints in there. Ooh. But... Collector S? Yes, well, yes, yeah. about that. So <laughs> we have a list of all but four. Yeah, he was making segue. Everything's fine. Um, Jake's been mastering the segue this week. Ah, yes, yes, I have. Um, so the collector rares that we know so far are uh, No Punk Foxy Tune, No Punk Ogre Dance, Exorcist of Pax, Rise of Aramis, Ar Ar Aramisa? Aramisa. Aram Aramisa? Aramisa? That'll do. I'm going to say it wrong in every deck profile that I do. Yeah, say it different in every deck profile you do. You know the way I roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Water Enchantress of the Temple. Uh, Fateful Adventure. Uh, Zeke Strike oh, Kou, <laughs> which I'm, I'm thinking that's is... That's the Insector card. That's the brand new one's already getting a collector. That's... Fuck you, Insector, you piece of shit. Um, speaking of which, Insector Hornet and Insector Dragonfly. Yeah, cool. I was um, going to... That, that was my... They kind of I'm, had to, like, they're, like realistically, they're the oldest fly. cards in that set getting a reprint, so they kind of needed one. 
um, other than this card, which is Torrential Tribute, and Solemn Strike. Um, as per this list, we still don't know four of them. So I honestly don't know what the other generic cards are in the set. Do they do Centipede? Oh. Well, logically, what was there one? There was only one. There was only star. one Exorcist. Oh, Pax, yeah. yeah, the other Exorcist is definitely going to be one, like the good Exes, because Pax is the spell. Yeah, so um, I'm thinking at least one or two of those yeah. will be Exorcist. The, the good Exes, one hundred percent. Yeah. Um, the punk ones will be the no. worthless ones. If you're playing punk, play max rarity. It's going to be cheap anyway. Might as um, well. Oh, um, I think. I think in someone else's list I saw that the synchro of Punk was getting a collector's rare. Is that not one of the ones you said? No, I think both of these are main deck monsters. Okay. Well, that's that. Um, yes, yeah, so that's pro- that. They're probably going to see an, like two more Exorcisters, one yeah. more Punk, and then the other like one will probably be like another generic card, given that we've only seen two generic cards. Oh, Itelli? Ooh, Itelli would be hot in collectors as well. That's um, a good point. Um, so, interesting these cards. There's a couple in there. Hmm? I should sell my ultis. No, collector's rares are not worth as much as ultis. You keep ultis. They're not first edition. You keep them anyway. They, they'll look. I still think the ulti will look better. Ulti looks nicer. The etelis will be nice in collectors, but they won't be ulti. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of cards in there I wouldn't mind getting. Like, obviously, if I pull any of the um, adventure, adventurer. We just say brave here. <laughs> we say brave here. Um, if I pull any of the brave collectors rares, I'm more than happy to hock those to the highest bidder because so people quickly. will be chasing them so hard. Um, but if I were to get like a solemn striker or a torrential, I'd be super happy to keep it. I've seen photos of both of those. They look. Oh wait, no, I haven't seen the strike. I'm assuming the strike looks good. Torrential good. looks fresh. Torrential looks so fucking good in collectors. It's so good. I liked it when. I had a, I had a strategy of approaching tournaments when I wasn't playing. I'm not sure where this is going. I, I didn't. I didn't want to prank it, monster. That's where this all ends in. Oh, okay. But anyway, um, that I would only get the collectors' rares and stuff because some of these ultra rares are so high in price on pre-sale and are probably gonna go up for a bit because this is how it goes. Waves, but it just, but it, but it just but it just feels so bad because the ultra rares will inevitably sink in price because they won't be the best quality and they'll be everywhere. I really want to just get the collector rares version because I know that that's safer. But I am out of time and I cannot amass that. Also, get that. It's it's a the it's not to the same scale, but it's the equivalent of like investing in stocks and investing in property market. It's a much higher ceiling to get into the property market, but mainly it's a much safer bet because there's not as much fluctuation in that pricing. Whereas if you're in stocks, you need to be very careful about when you're doing what because it fluctuates all the time. Yeah. I wanted to avoid that, but here I am playing Yu-Gi-Oh! again. And I need to... I need the Braves. Yeah. Two of the three people at the I table brought Braves. I need the Braves. Yeah. I normal summon, so I don't. <laughs> Jake needs to resolve the effects of his normal summon, therefore he cannot play Brave. Well, soon. Soon I might not have to. Special summon Ecclesia. I haven't seen that list yet. I haven't seen a list of um, fucking Brave branded. Can I not show you that? You did not watch the video on my channel? Disappointed. Oh, was that the newest one? I haven't been able to watch that yet. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I, have, I, have I know there was Brave and Branded in the thing, but I don't think it was a combined deck. I think it was Brave Tenny. Yeah, it was Brave Tenny, Branded Despia. It could have been Brave in there. Who knows? Tune in to find out more. Um, well, there, there's Brave in there. There's Brave in there. <laughs> but they just don't call it Brave. That's Brave in there. Is that is that maybe why it got hit so quickly in the OCGs? Just because it pivoted to a format where the normal summon wasn't. Yes. As critical anymore. Every deck played Brave. Do you think Chaotic made their deck calls based off these lists? Not realising that they've been, yeah, semi-limited. Because it's too... Oh, no, t- no, 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 no. They were just trying to maximise their money. 
imagine one day you can enter code Nolan Five at Chaotic and instead have it type in a different discount code. Did you use a discount code? Yeah, I got the. I mean, I've never ordered off them before, so I've I use that new five. Yeah. Okay, I have a regular discount code for them if you need it. Ever again, but not for you. Not for you because it's not Nolan Five or Cowboy Five or whatever. There's a Cowboy Five. For nobbies, we can open up. We tried. We can open we can up ad space. We can do that if you want to advertise on this podcast. Hit us up. Yeah, I guess we're ready for that. Or for we're no. still waiting for what? What underwear company was it? Yeah, I mean, wasn't nobbies? Was it? Step Blake one. knows. Slap spies. It wasn't nobbies because isn't nobbies the it's peanut brand. brand? Yeah, but it was something like it was something else that like played on that. Actually, I've seen in Fairy Meadow there's an underwear company that opened up like a shop there called um, Cocky, Cocky Underwear, and I think it just had birds on the underwear, which I think is like, haha, it's actually birds. We're not talking Sorry, about penises. It's just nobby, nobby, nobby. Okay, it's just nobby. Yeah, so we're still waiting on a reply from Nobby. So our okay. um, our ventures into sponsorship have not gone well so far. Um, I was moving my sponsorships over here. What's that? Well, I don't know how the Nagako is going, going to go. We'd have to delete some podcasts. <laughs> we haven't trashed him that much. We haven't. I don't think he did, did he? Well, he's blocked by him, so... <laughs> Look, we're not, we're not ever getting a Cherry Collectible sponsorship. Oh, definitely not. Because <laughs> one person at this table is blocked by them. <laughs> Collector's rep, by the way. <laughs> yeah, fucking... <laughs> Imagine receiving what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... Would you um, have to take down a Twitch stream if you just got what you wanted? You know what you get when you don't send a collector's rep? Oh, that's going to come back to bite me. I just know it. I regret saying that. Please delete it. Um, no. Ah, oh, fuck you. Oh, Maybe. I might edit that. I might put a black bar over Jake's face. The way my I'll face reinsert the audio, don't you worry. Fuck you. Um, so, in terms of new cards, there's a couple of new cards. There's a new Dogmatic Ritual card, but it's fucking trash. Uh, there's the Super Poly target for Albaz that is just dragons, where if you just set Albaz against a dragon link board, you can link off their entire board. Which is really funny. But... In more exciting oh, news that I don't good. really wish to read in full is the Valiance, um, which is one of the new decks to come out in the set after Grand Creators. Um, I can't remember what it's called though. The set code's DBTM. It's irrelevant. But anyway, um, so it I'm not going to explain it all because literally they're all pendulum cards and they all have a fucking wall of text. But to explain them briefly. They're all kind of reverse mech knights in that they play themselves in a column and then summon themselves. Well, they, they when set... you remove them from your pendulum zones... Oh, we have a playmat here at this tape. I don't know if you can see this problem, but when you move them from your pen, remove them from your pendulum zone, they play into a spot, the adjacent spell trap zone, and then they move forward. From what I've seen, the main play starters just summon themselves into the spot above, okay, and Cause... then other ones move them, and then once they're moved, they get an effect. So it's literally mech knights in reverse. Yeah. They play a column and summon themselves as opposed to needing a column to do that. And then they need someone else to move them to get an effect. I've seen some of them that go to another spell or trap zone and then you can move them up from there. So. Yeah. Um, from the replays and things I've seen, they're fairly generic as well, which is good. They're like, generic as fuck, but it seems real big brain. It's super big brain. Like, it would have a fucking high ceiling. Um... There's a couple of plays that I've seen of them. Um, one is that they use the Spirit Pendulum to free up a zone so that they can play more of them. So yeah. they can Pendulum summon, get it out of the zone, keep playing cards. Um, another one I've seen is that they play, I think it's a, what would it be? A level eight of the Pendulums. They normal summon Performer Power Auto Synchron. It summons it out of the scale and then they make Flip and keep playing. <laughs> a, effectively a two card Flip. Okay. Sometimes you just want to make sure your entire combo resolves and then appear. Yeah, look, against Pendulum, that is very valid. Although, the, I guess the problem is, like, as soon as they make that beyond the Pendulum link, the floor is no longer live. Or does it, like, negate? And you cannot activate monster effects until after you Pendulum summon. Oh. And if that's 
that'll be three summons. You've got to get another two pendulum cards. Yeah. So that's a potential issue. So the moment it's summoned... The moment it's summoned, the Nibiru is live. And if they activate its effect, because I think it's on Link Summon that it has to activate, uh-huh. they pay 1,200, add a card, and then Nibiru comes down. And then Flo dead. Sometimes you just like to get Nibiru. Look, Pendulum players are experts at <laughs> it. Um, Do they have a Link Monster? Or is there a Link Monster that can they have... take this shit? No, they don't have their own Link Monster yeah. at this stage, but with these sets, they typically save their best card until after the other archetypes are announced. Electromite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got Electromite reprint. <laughs> hey, I could stand corrected, and this could be the point when they release Electromite. It could be. And then Sulfur Core to be finally playable. Because, yeah, you would need... Oh, we'll get to the effects. Oh, I'm not reading out no, no. the Oh, cool, yeah. So These yeah. are literally a wall of text. We don't have an hour to read cool. these. Um, so, yeah. Because if, if you move two up, well, because you can move that main one up, add the one that moves, move. And then the one that also add, also moves also adds, I'm pretty sure. So you could easily get to Electromite and then go silly. Pop off. Is that what the kids say? I don't know. Jake, is that what the kids um, say? Um... <laughs> I'm not an expert on what the kids say. I'm also not an expert on what the kids say. Comment below what the kids say. <laughs> <laughs> Something about scooters. Yes, kids love scooters. Um, it's going around everywhere now. Little scooter gangs. Classic scooter gangs. Rolling around the shopping centres on a Thursday night. <laughs> Causing all sorts of mischief. Being loud while I'm trying to bite Reese's Puffs. <laughs> Ray <laughs> just wants the, I don't know, the little yachty Reese's Pops. Was that a thing? It was one of them. One famous rapper got their own Reese's, Reese's Pops. I only go to the OG Reese's Pops. Oh, okay. It's a rare treat. I'm not in touch with what the kids say. Therefore, I don't know which rapper has Reese's Pops. Have any kids in that Discord said and asked any questions? I'm just reading through that now. Um, did we go through Paul Pelican's Bandless predictions see, last week? We did. We did? Okay. Uh, so as far as I can see, we haven't been asked any other questions. Oh, I know we have. Sorry, that's a lie. Uh, Rye Guy has asked, uh, what are some of your... Oh, I know we answered that one last week, didn't we? Um, oh, here we go. We have Oracle Osiris has asked us a question. Um, what is your favorite archetypal redesign slash sub-archetype? Um, to which I answer, I don't understand the question. <laughs> I understand the question. So it's like tellers and satellas? Yeah. Um, oh, okay. So like a branch off of... Okay. Yeah, yeah. All I right. liked the retrain Six Samurai. I liked that. Yeah, Ben liked that too. Six Samurai. The... The eyebrow raises. The, the, the Kazan <laughs> into Grandmaster. Kazan was Grandmaster, right? Kazan and Grandmaster, what? Kazan's old. It's because our Rue was the new one. Huh? Okay. Rag just wants to know which one became the Grandmaster, Ben. I I don't know. I don't pay attention to Six Samurai lore. I just do the loop. <laughs> I can't believe you're not up on the lore. No, I just loop. But yeah. That um, that evolution I thought was really cool at the time. Ben, any thoughts? I don't know. All I can think of is Chamber Dragon made being employed by the Dragon Maid household. When when Chamber Dragon Maid gained gainful employment, my life went from a sad apocalypse to happiness. Feel free to comment in the Discord if you prefer this or Dino Mist. Because <laughs> this is what it's been a hard reset to. We've just talked from... switched from pendulum archetypes that nobody cared about to... Ones that only get mentioned in uh, DVD. It's not even a retrain. No, it's not. It's literally just a new card for the archetype. How did I get onto the. You complain that I didn't pay attention to lore. I don't want want you to explain it. (laughs) I don't think. I feel like we'll get warning or something. My answer hasn't happened in the TCG yet, but the new agent cards. Oh, yeah. Very excited for those. We still don't know when they're coming. They're yes, highly they're, suspected to be in Ghost of the Past 2, Ghost Electric Big yeah. yeah. But beyond that, we don't know. I was kind of hoping they'd be in Grand Creators because 
create a venus very loose connection that the insectors they took they took our spot it's kind of crazy that they are doing the branded well the albaz structure deck instead because that has most that has the other extra branded shit too yeah yeah Yes. It has Brand of like Fusion, it, we, it doesn't have the new Dragon Fusion, Yeah, and it doesn't have the Super Poly Trap. Yeah. But, but beyond that, it has everything. And you would, looking at it, like, Agents is a very niche thing. Like, it's pretty much me and three other people in Australia that are looking forward to it. But Albaz stuff is, like, meta as fuck. So, like, if you're going to put that into a set for someone to buy into, of the two, you think it would be that. Realistically, you've got to release one structure deck a year that's good. Are you saying that... Wait, have we got one this year? We haven't. Hmm? I'm trying to think if we had a structure deck this year. We haven't yet, have we? This will be it. So last year's was... Cyber Dragon? Cyber Style. Cyber Style. Cyber Style. I was going to do that. And then I was like... (laughs) (laughs) I won't do that. And then Jake be like, oh. <laughs> I've been awake since like 5.30. I'm running on fumes. I've been up for 11 hours. <laughs> Roughly. When you were asleep when we got here? 21 hours. 22 hours. <laughs> yeah. Or oh, one hour. Instead of 11. What? <laughs> We're on the same brain length, yeah. Brain length. Not brainwave or the other term length. that I can't think of. Length. Yes. <laughs> I really don't like that word. But anyway, that's besides the length. point. Length. Length. Ah. Girth. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I um, still haven't thought of an answer as to what my favourite retrain is though. I'm trying to think, but you know... My brain not working. I can't think of retrains. I only think of new shit. What about sub archetype? Is there like oh, totally awesome? Yeah, there you go. It's kind of wasn't so much a retrain as a Redesign way to make the, way the, the deck, deck to actually work. Yeah. Seeing as though is it substitute that's banned? Yeah. 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 Fuck that bitch. Yeah. Really re- regenerating a deck to play around something else, I guess. We need yeah. new frogs that are... I, I, okay, you I need a retrain need for dupe frog that doesn't make any That's, timing. It literally just needs one word change. Yeah. Just <laughs> give me Professor Frog. And he can be like in Professor Robes and shit. I don't yeah. know. Just have him not miss timing. Can we call a pro frogger? Actually, that sounds almost like a profanity, so let's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put 50 cents in the jar. <laughs> I'm going to watch that episode. So. Watch jar. <laughs> nope. Um, so, we haven't had a lot of questions of late, despite having asked for them for three weeks in a row, so please add some questions in. Um, Maybe other we should post that, in the Discord. Maybe I should post the audio version. Yes. Maybe you should post the audio versions of the podcast. I was waiting until the week after... I was gonna find and now you're waiting until the fourth week after. What? Like, <laughs> join, join the Discord <laughs> down below if you've gotten this far into the podcast and you're not a member of the Discord. On there, you'll see the questions tab. Submit your questions for the podcast. Yes, and there's lots of fun people in there, always asking for duels and things, and generally having lovely conversations. Only one of them plays Dynamist. I love it so much. It's a, it's a good it's a good model. Oh, the Discord. I thought you were talking about Dynamist. I was like, oh god, he's been poisoned. He still, he still think it's it's uh, pre created card poll. Oh yeah, disaster. Back when there was support on the horizon. <laughs> Sorry, look. That, that campaign was. It was an absolute, absolute disaster. Fuckery. And the fact that it's like only just resolved two years after, and it's a frankly abysmal bit of support anyway. Remember when they started it and they were like, we're going to have to restart this because everything got botted. <laughs> oh, that was an absolute mess. God, I forgot that they restarted they it. They handled it so fucking well. So I swear it got to like the fourth vote and Frogs won and they were like, 
where he's starting to pull, and I was like, you can't fucking do this! <laughs> Give me my frog support! <laughs> Give me Professor Frog. <laughs> I just want Professor Frog! <laughs> he doesn't miss timing! <laughs> I haven't seen him, like, either this happy or this sad since we had a night out in Sydney. Happy when he was talking about Paddington 2, Paddington. sad when he realised that we had to go home. No, 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 I didn't realise we had to go home. I was called the N-word by a drunk chick. And no, no, like... no, you were sad before that. No, I wanted to go play DDR and no one would let me want... Everyone was like, no, we can't go play DDR. And I'm like, the arcade is open, it's 2am, I want to play DDR. And then this girl was like, hey, N-word, and I was like... Oh, I'm going to bed. You didn't play Frogger? I didn't. What'd you call me? It's in an arcade. That's it for tonight's uh, podcast. Um, as I said, link in the description for our Discord. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, and we'll catch you next time. Bye! Bye.